As the celebrity gets ready to walk the red carpet for the premiere of his comedy Wolves, George Clooney and his wife Amal arrive in Venice for the third day of the yearly film festival. The elegant actor, 63, looked great walking outside in the sunshine, and Amal, 46, looked stunning in a glitzy yellow miniskirt with a matching hat. Amal accompanied George in Venice before he hit the red carpet for his upcoming role, putting on a striking show in her gorgeous summer ensemble. The pair is anticipated to be present for the Sunday premiere of George's latest movie, in which he plays Brad Pitt's opposite. In 2014, George and Amal got married in Venice, Italy. Alexander and Ella, the couple's twins, were brought into the world in 2017. Three years later, Wolfs narrates the tale of two professional fixers who, although preferring to get along, are compelled to collaborate after being hired for the same position. Not only do the two leading men star at the top of the marquee, but they also serve as producers under Pitt's Plan B and Clooney's Smokehouse, in addition to director John Watts, Diane McGonigal, Grant Heslov, Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner. Nicole Kidman was spotted strolling about Venice, looking stunning as she made her way to the Hotel Excelsior. The 57-year-old actress is in Italy to promote Baby Girl, an erotic thriller in which she co-stars with Harris Dickinson. The movie star wore a black midi dress with a plunging neckline that accentuated her lean physique, and she looked amazing for the day. Nicole is portrayed in Baby Girl as a successful New York businesswoman who embarks on a dangerous relationship with her much younger intern. At the Venice Film Festival, the actress recently acknowledged that she's not sure if she has the bravery to see the film. According to Nicole, Baby Girl is the most exposing movie she has ever done. The Big Little Lies actress revealed that she gets really nervous when she thinks about people viewing the obscene sex scenes in the movie. Golly, I'm doing this and it's actually going to be seen by the world, she said. That feels really strange. Nicole acknowledged that the vulnerable nature of the filming procedure left her feeling ragged, and she expressed her concern about viewers watching the sex scenes. In Baby Girl, Nicole plays the part of Romy a corporate executive who is attempting to find joy in her marriage to Anthony, a theater director, while juggling her work. As soon as Samuel Harris, the new intern, expresses his attraction to Romy and they start talking about a forbidden sexual dynamic, their marriage starts to fall apart. The thriller's director, Helena Rain, is rumored to have aimed to draw attention to the orgasm experienced by women, with a particularly intense sequence featuring Romy masturbating. As she returned home from Venice, it was hardly surprising that Angelina Jolie was beaming after winning over fans with her portrayal in the biopic Maria. Although the actress's work in Pablo Lorraine's film has won her accolades from critics, she decided not to attend any further events in the city as she got ready to depart Italy. As she boarded a water taxi, Angelina flaunted her sophisticated sense of fashion by dressing in a short sleeve trench coat over loose white slacks. The previous evening, the actor made a stunning appearance at Maria's premiere, which resulted in an eight-minute standing ovation for the movie. During the festival, Sigourney Weaver will be presented with the esteemed Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement Award. I am truly honored to receive the Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement from La Biennale di Venezia, Sigourney declared prior to accepting the award. It is an honor I share with all the filmmakers and collaborators I have worked with over the years to receive this award. I gladly accept this award in honor of everyone who contributed to making these movies a reality. La Biennale di Venezia is in charge of organizing the 81st Venice International Film Festival, which takes place on the Lido di Venezia from August 28, 2024, to September 7, 2024. On September 4, Joker, Foley Adu will be shown in a prominent theater. Stars Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga will walk the Venice red carpet for the sequel's premiere. Additionally, Daniel Craig will be present at the event to promote Queer, which opens on September 3rd. Julianne Moore and Tilda Swinton, who are frequent visitors to Venice, are in town for Pedro Almodovar's English-language feature debut, The Room Next Door, while on August 30th Nicole Kidman will screen her sensual thriller Baby Girl. On September 7th, Poopy Avati's The American Backyard will wrap up the event.